Next deformer I want to talk about, I'm going to hit W to go into gizmo mode, go into the gear, and let's choose the deformer deformer. So I'm going to go click the deformer, and now we have what's uh, considered in my UT, yeah, this is like a lattice deformer. Duty Sodium Max would be an FFD deformer, or FFD modifier, I should say. It's a freeform deformer. So now let's take a look at some of these options. So if we go up here, we're going to see we can choose Y symmetry. Uh, we can do either parallel or mirror or zero is off. Same thing with X and Z. So if we go over here to the X symmetry, which again is this outer cone right here, if we start dragging this out right now, it does not have symmetry. So if we drag out, you're going to start seeing dots disappear. What that's doing is telling you because this symmetry is set to is set to one, you don't need access to these dots over here because these dots over here are going to control this side of the deformer. So you're also going to see a kind of grayed out version of the gizmo. You're going to use this to go ahead and start deforming your mesh dots. Now, because all of these dots are selected, it's going to move my entire mesh around. So to make this a little bit more clear, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control, just like it's masking. If you, again, if you want to go through the basics of ZBrush, you can go to the intro to ZBrush part one on my YouTube channel, my Gumroad, my QBrush, and that'll take you through these basics. But we're going to be using masking to show and hide or activate and deactivate these dots. If I hold down control and drag over these dots, that's going to deactivate them. And just like any other masking task, if I hold down control and tap out here, that's going to invert my masking selection or is going to take these active dots and make them inactive and make these inactive dots active. So I can just toggle between those just by choosing invert. You're also going to see my gizmos moving with those dots. It's just kind of centering that the pivot of the gizmo for those deformer dots. So now that I have those selected, what I can do is take this deformer and we can start moving those around. Now see how it's also deforming this side? That's because we have parallel symmetry turned on in the X direction. If I do, if I do mirror symmetry, which is two, now we have mirrored symmetry on both sides. And of course you can do that symmetry in X, Y, and Z. We'll go ahead and leave it on for X for now, but let's say I need a little bit more resolution. So what I'm gonna do is control drag, or I'm sorry, control tap to go ahead and bring all our dots back here. And let's go, let's keep uh, going through these cones right here. So we're gonna see we have X, Y, and Z parallel mirror symmetry. And if you go one more cone in, that's gonna be smoothness. So as we're deforming this thing, we can choose how smooth that transition is between dots. But what I'm more interested in right now is these inner cones right here. And those are the X, Y, and Z divide. So if I choose this X divide and kind of move this up, you're gonna see I'm getting more divisions along the X axis, more divisions along the Y axis. And of course, the same thing in Z, you can change the Z resolution. Because this object is so thin, I probably don't need a whole lot of resolution in that area. So we'll just leave that at a smaller number. Now to really drive this message home, I'm going to start playing with the symmetry a little bit more. So we got X symmetry, we have it set to mirror right now. Like if I move this back down to zero, all of our dots are available to us because there's no symmetry in the X, Y, and Z. So now we can just choose if I want to, I can hold that control and if I hold down alt, that's going to go ahead and mask all my other points and unmask these ones. And now I can use these points to go ahead and deform my mesh. If I control drag, that'll control drag in my document. That's going to clear all of the points and my control tap, that's going to invert that and bring them all back. So now watch is as I start dialing in symmetry. So what I can do is let's gonna set let's set all these axes to mirror. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mirror the FFD in the X, in the Y, and also in the Z. And you're gonna see now all I have access to is these little dots right here because what the form the former is going to do or what it's showing you is all you need to do is focus on these dots right here because the rest of them are gonna be controlled by these dots as a mirrored axis. So again, if I hold down control, alt, and drag over these two dots here and, and now if you snap to this front view, you're gonna drag, you're gonna grab these dots here as well. So that's just a way to kind of select these dots. If you don't wanna select that dot, just hold down control and just mask it out. And again, our ghosted gizmo is right back here. That's what's going to be used to move these things around. If I snap to the front here, I can move it in the X direction and the Y direction, or I can just kind of move that in screen space. So I'm moving these dots using the gizmo in screen, in screen space in the X, Y, and with X, Y, and Z symmetry turned on. Now, just like the other deformers, if you don't like what's going on here, all you got to do is go back into your gear here, hit uh, either reset or, reset or delete. I'm just going to get and delete that deformer off, and then you can just go ahead and start over. So if I go back into the gear, I can choose deformer. If I want to change the orientation and position of that deformer, all I got to do is take this gizmo, hold down Alt, and that's going to, of course, toggle our unlock on and off. So now we can just move this gizmo around. Uh, so feel free to reset this gizmo to wherever you'd like, and then of course change this orientation to whichever direction you'd like. Like go of Alt, go into the gear, choose the deformer again. It's gonna retain your previous settings, and now your deformer is going to be in that direction, again being controlled by your gizmo. If you wanna reset that, just hit W to go back into gizmo mode. Hold down Alt, you can reset this to go back to world axis, and then when you go back in here to gear and choose deformer, that'll be set up exactly how you left off with a new orientation.